asset of the community here. Second thing is, you know, we have now transitioned in leadership. We have a new leader who actually comes to us from Bank of America. He's had phenomenal experience in, in meeting the needs of consumers and small businesses and is very, very proud of uh, what the company has to offer, its brand, its reputation, its culture. And I think he will do a terrific job going forward and building the reputation of the Hartford and, and really growing that company so we can grow the opportunity for our people. Third, I would say that we restructured our business. We completely restructured it. Well, fundamentally, we're still in the business of protecting people's lives and dreams because we believe that's what we are all about, protecting families and businesses. And, and second, of helping them accumulate wealth for their retired lives. And that fundamental core objective of the company stays intact, and that's who we are and that's who we will be. And I, I feel that that is something that we're very proud of and will continue to grow. And the last thing about the Hartford, I would say, is our culture. Our culture is one of ensuring, first and foremost, we act with integrity in all our relationships, whether it is with our consumers, whether it is with our distributors, whether it is with our employees, whether it is with the community or with our regulators. And that is something that is the core of how we are as human beings at the company. And we will continue that tradition. I believe the new leader believes in the same thing. We also are a company that innovates all the time. We have done a lot of things uh, during the course uh, of our history. And we will continue to bring that innovation to the spirit of what insurance and financial services companies will do. And the third thing is, we will, and we believe that all our leaders should be engaged in the community. As part of our corporate social responsibility, we feel as individuals, as managers, we have to be on boards and organizations. So we are contributing to the vitality of this community because we believe this community is where we, as, as employees, bring our families so that we can work and play in this community. And so that is a culture that is very, very critical to the Hartford, and we will continue in that fine tradition uh, even uh, looking forward. Going to the alliance, I have to say the alliance as Oz under Oz's leadership, you know, we have really established the notion that alliance should do everything as part of its mission to help families live, work, and play in this community. And I believe that the alliance has done a phenomenal job. I believe the alliance has great opportunity to do that. This region is outstanding. There's enormous assets in this region. First of all, the financial services industry, not only in central Connecticut, but in southern Connecticut, is a significant contributor to the economy of this state. And I believe we, as the Alliance, should be devoted to ensuring the opportunity for growth and strength of the financial services industry. It is our job to educate our legislators and tell them and teach them about what this industry does for the economy and how critical this industry is for the nation's future and the world's future. And I believe that from a policy perspective, from a strategy perspective, there is enormous opportunity for further growth in jobs in this territory if we just create the opportunity for financial services companies to grow here. And I think the Alliance will do a terrific job there. I think you and I and our companies should be devoted to doing that. The second thing, you think about it, there are two things every company should do. Promote job creation and job formation and promote education. The Connecticut region has great educational assets. As a matter of fact, Oz coined this expression of the knowledge corridor, which actually runs from New Haven all the way to Springfield, Amherst, Mass. We have so many fine educational institutions in the state and in this region. And I think promoting that and ensuring that, that those educational institutions and educational establishments flourish is, is absolutely our, our joint responsibility. All of us as leaders should promote that. Embedded in that is two very important notions. First is the growth and success of the University of Connecticut. Most recently, the University of Connecticut has been trying and finding uh, to find ways to ensure that its medical uh, <clears throat> part of, of its business or enterprise is protected and nourished and grown. And I believe UConn's, 50% of UConn's budget, 50% of UConn's opportunity is in the medical university and the hospital. The Hartford Hospital has really made a very, very fabulous proposal to try to find a way to ensure that we create a partnership between UConn and the Hartford Hospital. And I feel that this provides a great promise for strengthening the, uh, the University of Connecticut. If we succeed in doing that, if this 
legislator, the legislature, as well as the governor's office actually promote that partnership. We could create Connecticut as a destination state for medical care. But not only for medical care in the southern part of the state with Yale, but also in the central part of the state with the hospitals, Hartford, St. Francis, and a newly designed U University of Connecticut hospital in partnership with the Hartford Hospital it could be phenomenal because it'll attract great physicians into this territory, it'll promote education, it'll promote research, and it'll be fantastic for the future growth given the fact that Americans are aging and medical care is going to be a critical part. You've been hearing over the last uh, months that 18% of the economy is going to be taken up by medical care. So this is something that we should vitally concern ourselves with in promoting the University of Connecticut and ensuring that it is the proud asset we all deeply care about. The second thing about education that I want to leave you with is the education of inner city kids. You look into our companies and you look into our financial services organizations, the opportunity for inner city kids to get into those better jobs, the higher paying jobs, the technical jobs, the quantitative jobs, is still limited because of the quality of training that they're receiving in inner city campuses. And this is, this is where we as businesses have to partner with the, uh, with the administrations in all these major cities to ensure that the quality of education that inner city kids get is outstanding. A lot of work to do here, but your collective engagement in all of this would make a dramatic difference. So strengthening the University of Connecticut and strengthening the op educational opportunity for inner city kids are two very, very vital notions that we, if we come together as a business community, can make a strategic difference uh, for the children and families uh, that are affected by all of that. And finally, the economy. The last thing I want to say is about the economy. Clearly, a lot of debate about whether it's V-shaped, W-shaped, U-shaped, L-shaped, and more recently I heard the square root uh, shape. And I was thinking, I was trying to plot a square root in my mind, and it looks something like this, I think. And so, uh, so anyway, it's a modest recovery and then flattens out. So that's the square root. And Bob Froelich, our, our new economist at the Hartford, along with the other panelists, is going to make it all very, very clear to you. But <clears throat> our central view, our central view is, as we look at our customers and what is happening to their businesses, is the economy has bottomed out, is recovering modestly. But ultimate final demand is still not growing. When you listen to your your customers and their sales opportunities, their sales are still not growing. So we look forward to that time, and I believe it'll be sometime in the latter part of 2010 when things start to improve, when real sales start to start to pick up. I still believe that this nation has great economic opportunity, notwithstanding all the challenges uh, that, that we face as a nation. Because as you travel around the world, as you travel around the world, there is no other nation with the kind of quality of enterprise that we have in this nation. And our businesses are exemplary examples of that. And as a culture, that is where we have to keep focusing our attention, improving American competitiveness, improving American competitiveness, not only domestically, but globally. So with that, I want to thank you. I wish you the best. This is a great region. I believe the opportunities are outstanding. I believe between businesses, other institutions in the city, like the hospitals, uh, like other, other academic institutions, we can really continue to maintain the vitality and the energy of this, this particular loving city that we have. So I wish you the very best. Good luck to you. And I thank you for the award. Thank you for the opportunity.